In this video, I want to talk about write to the response. We have been writing to the response for many times already using the context of response dot write async. There's nothing wrong with it. I just want to point out something that we need to pay attention to. The thing that we need to pay attention to is that once we start calling, like for example, in middleware number one, we already started calling response dot write async. Once we started calling this response to async, it's possible that the entire response object is being sent to the client side already, right? To the browser already. Therefore, you're going to encounter problems if afterwards you want to modify the response headers, right? Because the response is already being sent to the client. It doesn't make too much sense to write to the header afterwards. Actually, you have seen this previously when we try to modify the status code, right? So, for example, if we try to do that again, response dot status code. If we want to modify this, or if we just want to modify any headers, let's say I want to add a new header like my header, and then I say my header content just like this. Then, if we run it, we are gonna encounter problems because response dot write already started sending headers to the client side. If you want to set headers, you need to put headers before. Let's run it and see the problem. Right. You can see already that we are not actually getting back anything from the screen. And if we go to F12 and bring up the developer tool. And go to consoles. You already can see errors, right? Fail to load resource, incomplete chunk encoding, and maybe let's refresh and see if we try to trigger it again. And you see, it gives us a 200 OK status code back, but we have also problems with this. And if we modify this uh, so that the headers is before response dot right, then we don't have any issues. Let's see this. By running it again, all right. So you can see that immediately we see the result. And if on this page、uh, we bring up the developer tools, I have to all bring up the developer tool.、Uh, we have、uh, go to network tab and try to refresh on this page again and go to observe this request and response. We can take a look at the response header and we see our custom header here, my header with my header content. So no problem with this. No errors anymore, and we go to slash employees with ID. Then we go to one five six six five one. So you can see that if you want to modify the headers, then or actually any part of the response, then try to do that before response dot write. Because once you started calling this, the response is already sending to the client side. Now you may ask, so. You suggested us to put everything before response dot write. Right? Just don't modify response after response dot write. But why you're writing to the body all the time, right? We're writing to the body not only in the first middleware but in the subsequent middlewares. Writing to the body is fine. You can write to the body in the same middleware and in different middlewares. But there's something I want to point out. You need to pay attention to is. The one of the response header is called content length, right? So if there is a content length and you already specify the content length, for example, like this, and then you write to it in the following middlewares, then you may encounter problems because you might increase the length of the body. For example, here if I say 250, and then I just keep writing to it in the middleware number two, number three, number five, number six. Then it's possible that the content length is actually longer than this, or at least different than the content length in the header. And in some cases, that could be an issue. So that's something you really need to pay attention to. And also something you need to pay attention to is that when you create a custom middleware like this, so remember in SBDN Core there are tons of built-in middlewares, which is helping us. To create web applications, 
with ease. We don't have to create middlewares from scratch all the time. We have tons of already created built-in middlewares. We can use them. But in some cases, we want to create a custom middleware to handle some specific scenario. And when we do that, we also need to be aware that it's possible that some of the built-in middlewares that is called after your custom middleware or before your custom middleware might be affected by your middleware. For example, if you're specifying a content length in your middleware, and then in the subsequent middlewares, in the built-in middlewares, the response body is being modified, then the length is modified. So your content length that you calculated in your custom middleware may not be right. So you need to really pay attention to this type of discrepancy. This is something I want to mention in this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, I will see you in the next one.